Hey YouTube, uh, this is my first tutorial and it's uh, about how to make a normal picture into a sketch looking one um, I'm gonna make the picture, the exact same pictures on the screen here for you um, yeah, so I'll just get started, please subscribe for more tutorials um, click the thumbs up if it helped you um, Hopefully don't click thumbs down, um, if you have any questions leave them in a comment and I'll be sure to answer them or you can even send me a message. But uh, preferably a comment so in case somebody else has the same problem they'll be able just to read simply that a comment and see what it looks like. Um, as well as that, um, if somebody asks a question and um, and you have the same problem click the thumbs up on that question so people can see it on the top of the comments that it um, it's a question that has been explained um, yeah so hopefully click the thumbs up for this video also favorite it if you want um, yeah let's get started guys uh, you'll need GIMP uh, which you can find on GIMP.org um, I'll have the link in the description and I'll also have a link for in the description for this exact same picture. Um, um, anyway, let's open up GIMP. Um, once you have it open, uh, make sure you have the layers tab up there. Um, for that, you if you closed it and you don't know how to open it again, click Windows, Dockable Dialogues and just click layers and as you can see I already have my layers up um, so find a picture that you want to use um, taking, I'll just duplicate this picture okay and now drag it into the game um, so yeah just full screen it if you want and now uh, duplicate this layer and now make sure you're on the copied picture uh, for me it says background copy so Hopefully that it shows the same thing for you and just make sure you're on the copied version. So now um, go to colors, colors, sorry, um, and go desaturate. Make sure you're on lightness. It doesn't make just dif much difference if you're on the other two, but just click lightness in case something happens and I won't be able to explain it. So just make sure you're on lightness. Um, anyway, go on filters next and edge detect and go edge <coughs> so this is basically where you make your picture into a sketch let's just go to the face and then you just um, you can change it like the actual sketch by going on the algorithm option and just pick the one you want the way you want um, just look through them whichever fits your picture best um, so I'll just go with this and you can change the opacity he amount here the more amount the lighter it is so I'll just put it at 2.5 and make sure it's on smear and just click OK I'm sorry the computer is working a bit slow today because um, I'm making the tutorial on the recorder slows down the computer um, anyway uh, go to your layers now uh, go to your layers now and change the opacity as much as you want if you want just to get some color back okay so if you're still not satisfied with your picture after all three of these steps uh, simply go to filters again and go to edge detect and then difference of ga Gaussians and this is where you can like change the opacity of uh, of your thing so, so have it something like 16.0 and 1 or you can even lower it or something so it just changes as you can see it changes after if you change it different amounts so let's just say you put this on 2 and that on 16 normalize and yeah as you can see you can play around with that if you're not satisfied with your picture and this is what it looks like if I click OK changes to like lighter mm, but I don't want it that so I'll just undo that uh, and just have this um, 
then you click on file and save as and then you name it whatever you want and make sure it's jpg unless you name if you don't if you want to edit it later uh, just simply delete all that and it will change to uh, X, XF something I think or something like that if you just click it like this uh, it will change to a, a, a thing that looks like GIMP and if you click it um, I'll just show you a, an example um, just save as again I'll just delete the JPG part and save it it changes to XCF um, and with XCF what it does it leaves you with like this logo of GIMP and with the name of course and if you double click it it will reopen in GIMP and all your layers will be still there so you'll be able to edit it if you want as you can see I can work on it again but this second part that I saved the normal picture dot JPG it's right here and it's a normal picture so I hope this helped um, my first game tutorial subscribe for more and thanks for watching peace YouTube